as a result of research and development, today Solar Tech can produce thin film amorphous silicon solar cells which uses large batch and single chamber technique. This technique is carried out by depositing a thin film of silicon onto a glass substrate which can yield high efficiency and lower cost. Moreover, there are plenty of raw materials. This technique can be divided into three processes. Preparation of transparent conductive oxide coating glass, cell fabrication, module assembly. The first process is TCO glass preparation. This process consists of six steps. First, trim TCO glass to reduce its sharp edges by using glass edge trimming machines. This TCO glass acts as the positive electrode of solar cells. Second, wash trim TCO glass with deionized water to remove existing contaminants after the trimming process and then drying it. Third, cut tin oxide film coated on TCO glass into small cells by using a labor subscriber. Fourth, wash TCO glass again to remove existing tin oxide dust after the laser scribing process and electrical charges have been removed from the surface of the TCO glass. Fifth, put several TCO glasses into a box carrier which is developed by SolarTech. With this box carrier, thin film silicon is coated onto every TCO glass uniformly and consistently. Finally, heat box carrier containing TCO glasses up to 200 degrees Celsius in a preheated chamber in order to prepare the temperature of TCO glasses for the next step, which is plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition, PECVD. The second process is cell fabrication process. This process consists of six steps. First, the most important step in manufacturing solar cells is fabricating six layers of amorphous silicon onto prepared TCO glass by using plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition. Second, reduce the temperature of TCO glasses by using cool down machine in order to save cool down time. Third, cut thin silicon film coats on TCO glass into small cells by using a laser scriber. Fourth, coat with zinc oxide and silver by using physical vapor deposition machine. These zinc and silver layers act as the negative electrode of solar cells and enhance light reflection back to the solar cell. Fifth, the cutting of the surface of the glass substrate again this time, all layers of thin silicon film, zinc oxide, and silver will be cut out. Finally, test the performance of the solar cells by using a sun simulator.
The last process is module assembly. The module assembly process. This process consists of seven steps. First, remove the film at four edges of the solar cell by using a sandblasting machine to prevent short circuits and also to make the surface suitable for lamination. Second, bond conductive aluminum tape onto the solar cell by using an ultrasonic bonding machine. Third, lay down a Teflon sheet on a tray, then placing the solar cell on it, and then after that, lay down an EVA film on the solar cell, drilling a hole through the EVA film and then placing aluminum tape through this hole. Then, placing the other glass on top. Finally, covering the tray with textures and a Viton sheet. Fourth, laminate the solar cell prepared from the previous step by using a laminator machine. Fifth, test the performance of the solar cell again by using a sun simulator. Six, frame assembling, junction box setting, and wire connecting. Finally, expose the solar cells to the sunlight for 30 days and then test its performance once again. All of these steps are part of the silicon solar cell production.